What's up guys? I'm back with some um, OUPL. We got DJ Reza Sabella. Okay, we see Mega Medicham. Man's got the Medicham plus the Kofag for opposing Medicham. Sabella team looks pretty familiar. I think it's Megazam. I think it's Hazard Stag with... Uh, I don't know if it's Banter, it could be Rockstar, Roxlando, and then Spike Skarmory with Wilbur probably looking at the team. He doesn't have added control. But yeah, Sableye is banned, so like Spike Stack is really good in RS. It's pretty much, I don't know if I want to call him Broken. But yeah, it looks like Alamomola kind of walls Sabala's. Not not the entire team, but like it looks like it was like almost everything. So Hazards are gonna be pretty big to chip down the Alamola. Yeah, yeah, the DJ doesn't have Hazard control. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed because I was recording earlier OUPL. And I realized my voice didn't get picked up, cause, so I only recorded the screen, so I'll have to re narrate that. So, let me look at um, DJ's team. Could be Scarf Heatran, could be Scarf Orlando. I think Scarf Orlando is more likely. But yeah, this is RSOU OUPL week two. And I'll look at the teams and the score, everything else at the end of the game as per usual. Yeah, he'll obviously just go for fake out here. If he's Helmut Landers, Abella can go Landers here. I think, yeah, I think Sabella's banned there, because he looks kind of weak to fat, like, versus fat teams, he's kind of, he has a hard time dealing with those. I don't know if the Alakazam is calm mind. Scarf or Specs kill here, probably. Stand up mixed defensive Amoongus, I assume. So the fake out does thirty percent, showing that many teams busted, and you go to Tangrowth or Alamola. Uh, this could be this could be Helmet Tangrowth to check Metagross. I was about to say, but Alamola also checks Metagross. I mean, Helmet Tangrowth was pretty common in RS for like Bishop was more common in RS, so that was in uh, Sun Moon AV Tangrowth is way more common. But yeah, this might confirm this Assault Vest. I think that's a Specs Focus Blast on an AV. I mean, it could also be Fist Death, more Fist Death Tang. And it's uh, obviously not Specs, but on, on Focus Blast is like the set that you run on Specs Scale you. The move you run on Specs Scale you too. It has a chance to Oko Rotom from full, which is pretty huge. So yeah, he can uh, go. The Kofagoras or Landris is pretty obvious here. Yeah, the Kofagoras is so obvious. So, uh, I could see DJ staying in, pulling an aggressive play. Going for. Like, if you're Sabala, you go to something that. that covers the knockoff slash Giga Drain and that covers the Kofag. So, you can either go to Mungus or you can go to Tita if you cover. Yeah, he goes Tita breaking the Kofag. But if he stayed in. He made Landris, which is a really great play there. That's a mid ground play. It was this focus blast that covers the T tides. Okay, was this among us as well? That U turn damage. Okay, we see Sabella's helmet Lando. I have to calc if that U turn damage. Um, if that's if that's offensive Lando from Darius' side. But yeah, he brings in the Medi gets a high jump kick off, gets a kill here. The scummy gets bopped. I wanted to call, but they're playing too fast, so. I won't calc then. He hits his high jump, kicks his Medicham is a well trained. He's been in the mountains, he's out here and uh, 
I like if I can click psychic here. You can also click focus blast if you want to break the heat run, but I think psychic is pretty free. I guess combat is an option too if you have that, but we will see. He traces regenerator. Yeah, it goes for psychic, and that other mola looks to be like mixed defense. Um, Morpheus death, probably Rocky Helmet, but it still has some speed F. Otherwise, I would get two hit killed from this psychic. And yeah, it's probably home because it didn't see leftovers, we didn't see eject button. And eject button is obviously not... Why would you want eject button? He doesn't have a doggy. Eject button is an option if you had a doggy. But yeah, this is a toxic that doesn't matter, obviously, since the moon is, uh, can't get poisoned. So I think he's gonna go try to pivot into a Solvest Tangles, because a Solvest Tangles eats up Clear Smog or Sludge Bomb anyways, and he's gonna try to get some regen, that's a potential play. But he can also just go into Heatran, into Heatran, which would cover on um, Sabala going for Sludge Bomb predicting the Tang Grove. Medicham would be, and no, I don't think you go out Medicham, Medicham puts him some work. I think you go Heatran out Tang Grove here, or Kofak. You can also stay in with Alamomola, I don't think it would go, I don't think it can kill you. And if you want to sleep for the Amola, that's also an option. But yeah, Spex Kaldio, if Sabella predicts correctly, can be a threat. But this is looking pretty good for Darius now, a DJ. But yeah, he's on all the money trees. Uh, he beat X-Ray week 1 of OUPL in RS2, so he's doing pretty well so far. I know I pronounced that so weird, but he made Medicham. I don't know if you wanted to second it to sleep or if you predicted the Giga Drain slash Clear Smog slash Sludge Bomb. But he can basically go for Ice Punch here, which he doesn't want to do that because the Landris, yeah, I, I, I can be completely get behind the play. As he's running HPS, Landris, and RS, it wasn't coming in RS. You saw it sometimes on teams that had a talent for him to lure the Landris for talent, but he goes many there, but that doesn't work out. I mean, he gets a fake out here. The reason why he switched out his many chim and Landris, the play made a lot of sense, was uh, he was at minus one, so Landris would have lived the ice punch and could have killed the many. But yeah, I thought he would go Lando there to get some fake out, to get some helmet chip on the many. So that was a good play by Sabella, and he will just sack off the Lando to get more chip on this many. And he can U turn here in case Darius switches out. Goes on the Mungus, and that high jump kick miss sucks, obviously, because. Medicham would have more health. Oh well. That wouldn't have done too, too much, maybe 30%. Maybe a bit more, depending on the Mungus sad. But yeah, I don't think Medicham carries an headbutt that often in Auris, so yeah, going for gear and he's like, okay, play. He probably would have loved that, but if he's fifth death ish. So you see the um, black slash get knocked off. Sabella so making an over prediction there, going for spore, and I c he's probably gonna spore again. But he should really not do that because AV tank can eat up hits. Like AV tank can eat up hits from Among Us. Like it's Among Us is pretty piss weak. So even though it's a super effective dab slash bomb or clear smoke that that's um that Among Us would use against Changros. It's the wrong just like 30 maybe, maybe 25 depending. Clear smoke probably only does like 16 or 18. Sludge bomb maybe 25, 30. That's just a hat calc. I haven't played RS in a while, but I know it doesn't do that much. So he stays in. He's probably sludge bombing this time. I got clear smoke. See that? That's absolutely nothing. That's a 16%. So Tangles kind of beats this one on one. I love how the HP fire does more than clear smoke. Is it HP fire or ice? <laughs> Let me look at his team. He already had HP eyes on Landris, so I don't know if he's HP eyes on this too. He's kind of weak to Scissor. No, no, he's not really weak to Scissor. He has Alamomola and Heatran. So I think it could be HP eyes too then. I guess Thalos Zone is kind of annoying for his team, so it could be HP fired. As he gets a knockoff on the choice ban on Tita, which is a great prediction. So about try to bring the Tita and the, and the hidden power in. 
in on the hidden power good god I can't speak properly it's um 1 a.m. here but yeah the tangles should be in range from stone edge uh, since it's spadaf and the Tita is probably adamant which which is what Banta likes to run and it could be a good cove for pursuit potentially the Adam Mola is a pretty safe switch in here because the Tita lost the band I think it would avoid the tweet kill unless it gets critted you can also just um yeah, yeah I think Adam Mola is a fine play here unless pursuit kills and if pursuit kills you might want to try to predict pursuit like pursuit might kill if tank switches out I'm not sure um, let me cut that real quick. Dang. Yeah, so he gets the pursuit play correct and pursuit does kill. So I thought Darius might stay in there predicting that, but I mean he would have lost his tangles anyway, but he could have gotten some damage off on a T tower in the process. Like if he stayed in he obviously would have gone to it killed. So I, I can completely get behind pursuing there. As you are gonna go Medichem. Alamomola. I think Medichim is pretty free, but he will just sack. Yeah, yeah, he will just sack the Lando if he goes Medi. So he goes Lando, which means this TJ is probably um, it's not locked in because it lost the band, but he can't do too much damage. Goes for Yuzhen. He wants to keep the momentum. Okay. I thought he might want to go for rocks. Might have wanted to go for rocks, but he decided the momentum is what I want. It's gonna be magma trend or just lava plume. His team is kind of weak to uh, mega guard of war, so maybe it's pedestrian because it can pedestrian can live hyper voice into focus blast. I think we see the rocks trend, so the land was showed HP ice and U turn. I think it's earthquake and what will be the last move? Could be knockoff or stone edge, I don't know. As it's um toxic trend. Superpower on banter, yeah, that's pretty common in Auras. I actually was I was kinda like for a second that was kinda cut off guard because like in Sun and Moon Tita likes to carry T uh Fire Punch to hit Megiana Scissor Feral Thorn, which is more pretty common. But yeah, we see Lava Plume, so it's probably Spadef trend. Or like some sort of bulky trend, it's not a max special attack trend because those will run Magnus Storm. But yeah, it makes a lot of sense. That's like his way of checking Gardevoir. So I'm kind of surprised that the like he's probably toxic rocks, lava plume, taunt. So probably not flash can, which is kind of odd because he's so weak to Gardevoir. I think he flash can would make some sense. He could be raw taunt and last move. Trick Room is a nice play there on the Landris sack. And HP fighting will come out here, so I think Sabella will go into Mungus predicting HP fighting, trying to waste a trick room turn. If Darius predicts that and gets the prediction correct, that would be nice to go for an SD plot here. But I think you just HP fighting here because it's a bit bit too risky. I mean, honestly, considering. Him he wants to start out trick room terms. The move is pretty obvious, and he predicted the. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So Sabella made a wild play there, and it worked out for him. But I guess there is no he lives any hit. So nasty playing wasn't necessarily misplay. Now that I look at it. But he dies to sandstorm in a few turns since he doesn't have leftovers. Yeah, HP fighting picks up the Cheetah and uh, this gets another kill basically here with Shadow Ball. So I think Darius uh, wins this game for sure now. Looks to be in a pretty good position. Like, I don't see what Sabella can do at this point. Like if his Amongus is really spadev, maybe that can live a hit, but I don't think it... I, I assume this uh, Kofari has his plus special attack nature.
It wasn't Cobra Berry. I don't know what. I don't know what Berry or what item this is. Is it some sort of play that boots his attack? I assume he's going through all his options, but I don't think he has one. Since there are two more trick room turns. Sandstorm the, the, the Sandstorm do six percent, right? It doesn't do eight, so this should live Sandstorm. So it should get two more kills even. Unless he has something like protect on his Alakazam. So yeah, he's probably cocking his Mungus can live it or something. I might pause it until he makes a play. Okay, so he decides to make the Among Us play, but Shadow Ball pretty much kills us, I'm 100% sure. If he's a plus special attack nature Kovac, which he should be, should have. I mean, he can sack off two Pokemon here. I guess he can try to get. Re he can switch out and get region here. Sack something else if he wants to. Yeah, he can switch out here. So this this way. Um, he only gets one kill with Kovac this way. I'm trying to see what his wink on is. Specs Kelly looks really scary, honestly. So maybe. Let me see how healthy the team is from Darius. I like Azam could win too. Bays tend to carry Bullet Punch though. Because Diancy is pretty common in Auras. So Fake Up plus Bullet Punch plus Sandstone plus Rocks might kill the. Okay, Samsung will be gone when the Zam comes out, but yeah, he sees the Zam as a win con, I guess. Among Us should live a hit, and even if it doesn't, um... Yeah, yeah it lives one now. Even if it doesn't, the Trick Room ends next turn, and Zam could revenge the Kovac. So, this comes down to if Mega Zam can win, and, and I don't think Mega Zam can win this. Yeah, he can't win, obviously. He just fakes out, and even if he doesn't have Bullet Punch, he sacks the Landris, he comes back in and collects Fake out again. Also, the um, Alamomola can live a hit. Oh, never mind, he cannot come back in. He cannot come back in. Rocks are up, rocks are up. So he can fake out here, then he dies to... The Sandstorm will end, so he doesn't die to Sandstorm. So we will see if he has Bullet Punch. But yeah, Alamomola is out of range to die. But yeah, we'll see now if he has Bullet Punch and pick up the win with his Medi. He doesn't have it. So Landis will die to this, so... I think Landis dies to Psychic. Oh, it's Scarf Landis, wow. So... That's really bad that I didn't realize it's Scarf Landers. I don't know what drug I am on, but yeah. I mean, that was pretty obvious that he's... He had to have some sort of speed control. He was rocks on the Lando. But yeah, I just saw HP eyes on this and I'm like... I know um, HP was a super common in Sun Moon, right? Even Scarf Land was carried in Sun Moon, but for some reason, like, defensive Land was carried all the time in Sun Moon. And that just made me think that it's defensive Lando. Um, Maybe earlier at the game, I think earlier at the game I knew it, I was, I realized, um, like he didn't go for rocks with this and that, like looking at his team I thought he was uh, maybe rock strand this scarf, but I think later on I just forgot, I don't know, but yeah, forgive me is at one fifteen am here, and starting to get really tired, and thank you guys for watching, I will get, give you some uh, update on the score real quick, um, actually I'm not trying to spoil any games, um, I mean, if you really looked at it, you already saw it, and you had spot it now. But um, DJ versus uh, Sabella should be. Where are they? Where are they? DJ Sabella X Y O U. So yeah, it's DJ picking up the win for Manny Brolic's team, the BBC Kings, and 
I don't want to talk about the other game because I will upload that later on as a replay because it was kind of... Let's put it that way, he had a pretty heat-ish team. And I'll not reveal who, but you will already know if you checked it out here, if you checked out the thread. Thank you guys for watching and uh, Dokuch signing out. I hope the audio is fine this time. Peace out, friends. Have a nice one. Have a good time.